Hey guys, welcome back to Rico now and this is the intermediate course for how to build an app for Google Assistant and here you will be learning about how to build this using uh, Dialogflow and uh, I know you all guys will be pretty new to Dialogflow for this uh, you need to sign to Google Actions console for that you have to search Google Actions on search engine and here you go the first link once you sign into your Google and Actions console then you have to click on add or import project and then you need to give an, a beautiful or stylish uh, project name and make sure that project name match with your theme of uh, what app you are going to make so i'm going to make here a calorie finder which helps us to find the calories in the food or helps the users to assist with the calorie find, calories and the diet to follow so i'm uh, i given the name of this project and i clicked on create button now yeah now you're on the screen where you can select a lot of templates and uh, according to the category so we are going to build it from scratch so on the left side uh, we can see something called actions and add your first action on the previous video we used the template and now we are not going to use template clear on custom intent and click on build so this is something different from the previous video that like uh, we are starting to work with uh, intent and invocation on the previous video we have worked with the invocation which is kind of a triggering your app from google assistant that's it so here you will be redirected to dialog flow then click on create intent button or create button to create the intent of your app so you can see a lot of intent default intent like uh, fallback intent as well as the welcome intent so this is something like uh, when a user trigger into your enter your app so the first message should be shown so that is for the welcome intent message and you can see set of uh, training phrases over there so delete all the training phrases we don't want that so first on the test test response button test response dialog dialog box you have to type a beautiful welcome message like uh, it should be very interactive like uh, like a human uh, voice like uh, yeah so i mean it so you can say something like uh, welcome to calorie finder or do you want a tip about calorie or do you want a diet restriction so something like that so once you done that click on save button then on the left channel go to integration then go to settings of google assistant and you can see that auto preview changes over there click on that and click on text so now you will you will be redirect to the google actions and console uh, so the dialog flow will be updating what all intents you have changed in the dialog flow So I'll wait for a second and let it be loaded So this is how the intents and invocations work parallelly and uh, in a new concept for you guys and uh, there is a this is a vast concept so Here I am the simulator now and when when you run your test app you can see that welcome message you given in the test response button so it will be like a welcome to calorie finder or do you want another tip to continue so you when uh, so here comes the play of intent so once the user says yes so you need to add a follow up intent okay so if the user says yes uh, the assistant should give the another tip and if the user says no if the assistant should exit from the app by saying see you later or something like that so click on uh, default welcome intent on the right side you get something called add follow up intent and from the dialog block uh, click on yes and again the same thing uh, you will get the same another intent and you have to type another tip over there like uh, you can give some tip like uh, tip one for the day uh, like Indian meals have 100 calories in a day uh, so uh, once you give the test responses or something or the app ideas which you have click on the save button and on the right side you can see now uh, uh, there is an option called see how it's work on Google Assistant so click on that and uh, before that once you click on save then intents will be tried to save and uh, agent training will be started once it's showed successfully then you can directly click on uh, see how it's work on Google Assistant so this thing will be get updated into your google assistant and now we can see how your app works okay now you are in the simulator of uh, google actions on google and once, once you run your test app you can see something called the welcome indent uh, which showing the welcome message as well as uh, whether they want to continue and once the user say yes 
then it will show the tip now so this is how basically um, the indents works it works accordingly to the users so if you want to add more training faces or if you want to make something dynamic so you can add more test responses over there that's all about the indent today and you need to create more what if the user say no for that you need to create an another indent uh, same in the default welcome indent now click on the right side add follow-up indent then on the list select no and click on no indent and go down and say something like um, thank you for using my assistance or see you later or something like that it's make sure every time when you work with Google assistant make sure everything is uh, and human interaction it should not should be like a human interaction should not be like a robot or something so you should make your customers to come back so once you done that once you give the welcome messages click on save button and as usual you can see that agent training started once it started click on how it works on google so it will be updating your dialogue flow to the google assistant and you will be in the simulator now and once you run the simulator you will get the same screen asking the welcome indent and once the user says yes it will go to the yes indent and once the user says no it will uh, show the uh, you know fallback indent message and uh, yeah it will exit from that so likewise you can create as many indents as you want or if you want to create more than five indents you can continue the step and so as of now you can see uh, uh, four indents over there and if you want to create a new indent from the previous thing so you need to continue from the previous thing so the first thing was default welcome indent alone so once you add yes to it so it will become default welcome indent yes and again once you add another indent or another tip then it will become default welcome indent yes yes so if you want to add another tip so you should uh, add the follow up indent on the previous one or the last one so this is how you have to add and you should uh, structurally order something like in google assistant or into dialog flow so in the dialog flow uh, i forgot to tell you about light of flow so i will make him i'll be making a theory theory videos uh, after later uh, in this month so i'll be explain what is dialog flow and how it's working so as of now i will give you a brief introduction dialog flow by using dialog flow is a we can use graphical user interface to create an app there is no need of a pretty coding skills over there uh, as an intermediate and if you go to advanced then yes you need to learn node.js code over there okay i hope uh, you have done uh, it now and if you want to simulate your app you can run the simulation and uh, i know this is repeating but uh, i want to make sure uh, i'm seeing my uh, uh, no youtube viewers as like a beginner who want to learn from themselves and so i want to help them as much as possible so i was trying a lot of explanation from the beginning video and uh, so there will be a video upcoming so uh, make sure you are uh, following the same pattern from beginner intermediate and advanced level so that's all about the indent and invocations i hope you got the indent and invocation whenever or wherever you work with the voice assistant app the indents and invocation is inevitable so it's all the part of the game so you need to learn what is indent and what is invocation how the triggering is happening so i will be explaining this theory concept later uh, in this month so uh, yeah that's all i put that's all about the you know google dialog flow so this is something great right so there is a lot of back end process working in the dialog flow when you drag and drop uh, the indents over there so uh, this is a pretty tedious task not for us for the developers so make sure uh, you are learning all the concept uh, before uh, you working on it so it will make you understand what you are doing and uh, yeah so the worth of doing so uh, i have done it now is the time to publish the app so click on overview and uh, you have to uh, give your uh, invocation as uh, and here it's showing like uh, in the assistant directory how should your app appear 
uh, basically it should be your app name uh, and if it is uh, already taken it will show that uh, this keyword is reserved for some other app you need to try something new okay i have tried two words as of now and it's already reserved for that and i'm trying my new word like track calorie yes now it's working so the invocation saved successfully over there and again click on overview and uh, yeah get ready for the deployment so here you need to add the data or the information related to uh, your app yeah basically yes so you can give something uh, so if your app is something like uh, it will help you to find the games or it will help it will help you to find the facts about cricket or something or facts about football you should give something about a brief introduction what your app will do and um, as in the long description you, can, you should explain how this will work and how this will impact on the users so this will this will give a great idea to the users who don't have any basic idea of, about your app so it will uh, lead them to use your app so make sure this should be very attractive this should be very simple as well as that like that so i have given my uh, short description as well as the long description as of now and when you go to sample description invocation you can see already default one and if you want to add more then you can add so here comes the logo part so in the previous video i explained to you how to generate a logo or wallpaper for the google assistant so for this uh, you need to search for wallpaper and make sure this is not copyrighted uh, non copyrighted photos and go to pickresize.com and resize your pictures and like you want so the size will be 1980 cross uh, 1080 pixels for the large banner and 192 cross 192 cross uh, for pixels for the logo button so i have already done it before so I'm using that picture so I can save some more time uh, I, 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 so I can uh, save you from the boring yes I have uh, uh, uploaded the both pictures right now as well as the wallpaper uh, banner as well as the uh, app icon now comes the contact details of the developer so you can enter that as well and here comes a cru crucial part uh, there is something called privacy and content statement and when you click, when you click on uh, copy the file from there and uh, there is some error i think uh, this is something error from google side uh, they have forgot to add the privacy statement so what to do so you can uh, refer your previous so if you have already created an app using template there will be already a privacy statement so the what's the what's the better thing so it will be saved into your google drive so what the better thing is like go to the google drive sign into your google drive then you can see that file in your uh, google drive it should be mostly uh, in a word file okay now i went to my google drive and now i can see something called a copy of my privacy statement okay click on that make sure that you're not editing the original file because there will be already an app running with your privacy statement but so once you edit it your app won't work so make sure always you create a copy so for that click on file and create a make a copy and click on ok so that's it uh, now you need to change your uh, app name so the before one was uh, you, which I developed using template for CEO game so I need to replace the CEO game with my uh, current app name so just th do that now you need to change the visibility setting so for that click on the share button on the top right corner and uh, click on on public to the verb and click on save button now you can see a globe instead of a lock button over there and copy the URL and paste it over the privacy policy and additional information you just select what category it will go and uh, how to trigger your function for testing so say uh, talk to the invocation name so you can see a sample preview of your uh, uh, app over there so this is pretty cool right yes that's all you have to do then uh, once again save the 
thing and go to overview make sure you have done all the process including simulator running the test on the simulator everything once you've done that click on release button and click on submit for production so that's all you have to know about the dialog flow and publish the app